This, as a Republican bill cleared Congress, preventing pension fund managers from basing investments decisions on factors like climate change. Now, here to break it down is Treasurer of, Treasurer of the State of West Virginia, Riley Moore. Riley, thank you so much for joining us. Now, break down this bill for us and just tell us how significant would it be that this is Biden's first veto? Well, thank you so much for having me. And it is quite significant because... You have to remember, this had to have bipartisan support, Republican-controlled House. Uh, obviously, we had enough votes there, but a Democrat did come over and support that. But in the United States Senate, you had two Democrats come over. Uh, Fetterman, uh, Senator Fetterman is getting his, uh, I guess, faculties back together, so he's not there. And there was enough votes in the United States Senate to be able to pass this, a Democrat democratically controlled United States Senate. So that in itself is significant that a measure like this could even reach the president's desk. But it is making a clear statement where the Biden administration is on the issue of ESG. What this did, this bill, uh, was try to repeal the Department of Labor rule under the Congressional Review Act, repeal the rule and take it back to the Trump administration policy that excluded ESG considerations in investing in pension funds. The Biden Department of Labor rule allows for ESG considerations such as environment and climate and uh, social justice and things of that nature that have nothing to do with maximizing the returns for the beneficiaries of those pension plans. Right. You, get, you, you did this in West Virginia. You got way out in front of this and said, we're not going to waste money on this stuff because the investment returns are horrific. And I got to ask, why in the world, why in the absolute wild world of anything, would any government or any official advocate for an investment strategy that is a worse return than other investment options? Well, I think it depends on what your objective is. If your objective is to coerce capital towards uh, left-wing objectives, this is certainly a good route to do that. So what they're doing is using our retirement funds to further their political agenda. I don't think that they're necessarily obviously focused on returns. They're focused on changing the country. And that is obviously their objective, which is outside of that fiduciary standard and duty, which has been in place now for ever. And uh, certainly they have been successful in this to one degree or another. But yes, here in West Virginia, I was the first elected official in the United States of America to divest from BlackRock. Uh, we do have a couple bills that are running here that I put forward uh, in this legislative session. One, to take ESG out of our proxy voting uh, inside of our pension fund. And then another to deal with the merchant category code on credit cards that are now trying to track the purchase of guns and ammunition. So right. this ESG movement is pervasive throughout our entire financial services sector, unfortunately. Yeah, Mr. Moore, the, the bigger problem here is, though, it doesn't actually stop any type of climate change or global warming or any of the, the talking points. So what is their big pitch to trying to in, implement this? I got about 30 seconds left. Well, I think in the end of the day, <clears throat> where they're able to coerce capital uh, away from the fossil fuel industry, for instance, if they can destroy that, then they think that they're furthering their leftist agenda around the environment. So I think that's kind of the thought process around this. If they can track our purchase of guns and ammunition, for instance, then they can have a chilling effect on the Second Amendment and try to uh, push us away from exercising our constitutional rights. So all of this is a hallmark of socialism. It's command and control economics. Yeah, good luck with people wanting to go along with that. I certainly am not one for giving up my, my 2A. All right, Riley Moore, pr appreciate you being here, sir. Thank you so much for having me. All right.